Morning at NTV. We are live from Kampala Serena Conference Centre. I'm Andrew Chamagero Montua Wansi, and today I still want to congratulate those who are swearing in today at the different levels and the different. Uh, I understand that in Wakiso today we are having councillors swearing in. We have MPs in Kampala here swearing in at the parliament and those who are graduating. Congratulations, Arafat. Now, the National Resistance Movement is currently in the middle of a tough decision to select who will be its speaker in the parliament. But after its leadership in Buganda was disseminated by the National Unity Platform, the party will also seek to restore its advantages in the region. Now, to speak to us about this, we have Mariam Nalwega, the deputy RDC for Luero. We should have had someone from the NUP platform, but last minute, he bailed out. Good morning, RDC. Morning, Magere. How are you? It's an honor to be here uh, with you. How is Luero holding up? Luero is fine. Mm. Yesterday we had the sharing dinners for the district councillors, okay. the chairperson. Mm. We elected the district speaker okay. and the deputy. The function was okay. Well, uh, was well. As, as a deputy RDC, what do you make of um, your region as of now, vis-a-vis -vis the manifesto of, of 2016 and where we are today? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, we, are, we are going on well. Mm -hmm. We are trying to implement government programs. Mm -hmm. A lot of programs are going on. But are people embracing them? Yeah, but the programs are there. They mm -hmm. are going on. We've been monitoring with mm -hmm. the district local government. We've done a lot of monitoring in mm -hmm. all sub-counties in the district. Mm -hmm. we, the water programs are going on, construction of the boreholes, mm -hmm. upgrading of healthy centers, to healthy centers, series. Mm. Currently, we, we are constructing the district headquarters, Luero. Then the, the hospital, Luero Hospital, is under construction. It's mm. at the fourth floor. We had went and had some monitoring. Basically, we are moving on. Well. You're moving on. Yes. Miriam, you're coming from a region um, that, um, if I should go by the NRM narrative, it's the make of the NRM. That's where the struggle started from. And um, to now, your party is going to be celebrating 40 years in power. But again, in Luero, that's where the president lost badly when it got to the previous elections. What are you doing as mobilizers, as you, the president's representative in the region, mm -hmm. to galvanize his support of the party? Uh, yeah, first of all, we are into youth mindset change mm -hmm. because um, the youth actually have got this mentality of mm. having negative attitude towards work. Mm -hmm. We are into serious mobilizations of youth mindset change. Mm. We, ha we hold different conferences and meet different youth. Because the main problem that mm. I've found in Ruero or that I've encountered in Ruero, mm. the time I've been there, is the idleness of the youth. Okay. As you move along the streets mm. in Ruero, along, al alongside the road, mm. you see youth standing and mm. stranded but they don't have jobs. What but do they do? But there is agriculture. Mm. Uh, recently, we, we, we held a meeting with an NGO mm. concerning coffee, mm -hmm. and the NGO was complaining. Mm. First of all, they were saying that, that Uganda is the second best leading producer of, of coffee, coffee in Africa. Indeed. But however, the youth are not coming in. They mm. are leaving all this work for the old people. Mm -hmm. One time, these old people will all be dead mm. and the sector we'll will die that, out. Yes. yes. Mm. So as the parents are in the gardens, mm. I would also request the youth mm. to come and join in. We have agriculture. Mm -hmm. They should indulge themselves in agriculture. Mm. Even as parents, as mm. parents who are farmers, they should mentor the their animals. children, yes, to take over. Otherwise, if the youth remain idle, mm. if the youth remain weak, mm. if the youth minimize agriculture, mm. then until the backbone of Uganda. Mariam, is it one of the reasons why your party lost heavily in Luero? Um, was it because the youth are not involved in government programs and they don't see the validity whatsoever case to actually be a part of them? Not really. There was a lot of propaganda. You remember during campaigns. I don't remember. I wasn't in Luera. You were in Luera. <laughs> what kind of propaganda was <laughs> yes. there? Okay, I was not in Luera as, uh, mm. as well, mm. but I came in shortly mm. after the, the, after the, the campaigns, elections. but mm. I've done my research mm. as to why NRM lost. What does your research say? There was a lot of propaganda. Mm -hmm. the propaganda was moving around that that 
America mm -hmm. is coming in to bomb Uganda. Mm -hmm. Just like did in, yeah, yeah. the sheep, all that, mm -hmm. a lot of propaganda. There was a lot of excitement amongst the youth. Mm -hmm. They were prepared to root, mm -hmm. to root property. Do you they were, think mm -hmm. the youth in Luero are ideologically grounded that they can support the agenda of your, of your government and it syncs with their needs today? Yeah, yeah they just need uh, empowering. Mm. They need mentoring and mindset change. And what approaches are we using to achieve those? Uh, reaching out to them through media, mm -hmm. like this morning I'm here. Mm. I'm reaching out to, the, to all the youth in, in Luero. Mm. Um, through conferences, through, we should speak out. Mm. We should speak out and tell them what to do. Through um, popularizing government programs, mm. like youth livelihood program. Mm. There is another model which is coming, which will be at, at the see, parish the, level. The challenge is, with the then models you're talking that. about, the mm. youth livelihood programs and all, they have a lot of um, incumbencies on the way that they hinder the youth to actually get these funds. Some of them, they actually come to the sub-county level, but they're not given the due attention they need to be given. Mm -hmm. The approaches you're talking about, about sensitization, about uh, creating a mindset shift from the grassroots level, do you engage them from the village levels? No, but, but, but the new model which is being worked upon... The parish approach it programs. Yeah, it will be the parish programs approach. instead of the district approach. Yes. Because I think at the parish, you reach them at the grassroots. Mm. So the parish chiefs mm. will really come down and meet them at the parish, at, at, at the grassroots. Mm. Then we shall have very many groups coming up. Mm. And uh, I think, uh, according to the model, we've mm. been having formations of groups of 10 to 15 people. Indeed. But this time, it will be five. Mm. Because there is, a, there is a mentality that if these groups are small, mm. they can be able to be sustained than sustaining a very large group. At, at, at mm. the parish level? At the parish level. Then also, uh, uh, Youth Livelihood Program has been having a problem of, of funds, yes. whereby like the youth have been drawing their programs mm. on how to manage their programs and mm. the amount of money they need mm. but they are, they are claiming that mm. they've been receiving less money yes take for instance mm. you, you you draw up a proposal mm. for 10 million mm. it's approved but at the end of the day you're given five then the rest is shared among, among those the different avenues. as a deputy yeah. rdc how mm. are you fighting this corruption at the helm of the sub-county level because it's happening we have run stories here miriam where people say i i submitted my proposal it was for 25 million but they told me we are giving you 15. the rest is for us to expedite the process for you mm -hmm. you're coming from the nrm party which is releasing these funds which funds it's my money as a taxpayer mm -hmm. to make sure that my fellow youth could actually do something what are you doing as a representative of the president in that regard Okay, um, the, the problem we are encountering mm. as we fight corruption is mm. that people don't speak out. People don't when speak they are out. cheated, they but don't. They're scared. When they are cheated, they don't. So you cannot know. The people you've imparted the sub county mm. have guns. You cannot they're know. They're talking to these youths and they're telling them if you dare go to the media and you talk, mm. or get to together. So they're scared. Intimidation mm. with the use of funds and resources, mm. it's a tool that is being used at the sub county level. Your job as a deputy RDC, how are you checking these people? That's what we need to know. Yeah, but um, uh, as for me, mm. I would request the only way we can fight corruption mm. is to speak against it. But we if speak against it? Yes. But your but government if, but needs to work about it. But if, it's, if, if you keep quiet about it, mm. then we shall not know. Because there are, there are instances mm -hmm. whereby we've been arresting youth mm. for failure of returning the youth livelihood money. Yes. Not knowing that they were under funding. Under siege by someone yes, who took by the someone. So you, you arrest them. Mm. Because the program did not work out, mm. Moreover, they, they got half of the money which mm. was supposed to implement the, what? the, the program. program. Therefore, as youth, mm. you, they should send no to corruption, speak out, mm. approach the office of the RDC mm. and bring these queries mm. and complain. But some of these people in uh, those offices are your friends. Do you have the mm. guts, Mariam, the mm. nation is watching, mm. do you have the guts to stand up to your friend, to your family member, who is doing that kind of racketeering or d doing that kind of play games with money meant for the citizens, yes. and you arrest them and you put them into incarceration until when they pay back? Yes, I for one, I'm calling upon all the youth in Luero. If you fell a victim mm. of that circumstance, mm -hmm. 
if there is a, a, a CDO mm. who gave you money which you are not supposed to receive, mm. please report to the office of the RDC and we shall work on that culprit accordingly. Let's talk about the NRM. Um, we are having a very big battle going on right now of the speakership. Um, yesterday, your party um, allowed everyone to actually come through and, you know, compete for the for the for, for the speakership and deputy speakership. But I want to understand, Mariam, does the NRM have other ways of dealing with opponents in um, without kidnaps and threats and, um, and and all that? Is that how your party wants to run around every after it completes the elections? Mm -hmm. But I've already said this. We don't have kidnaps in Uganda. Oh. What we actually have, we have arrests. Arrests? Yes, criminals are being arrested. Okay. Um, like the president put it recently uh -huh. when he was on TV. Mm. He said that all those people who indulge themselves in undressing, women who are wearing yellow clothes, mm. all those culprits who burnt cars, mm. all the culprits who, who destroyed uh, banana plantations, no will be that. arrested and... And, and taken Marie, to court. Have you been watching news where people are being picked from their homes at night and taken in Comunicado? Have you seen stories or in the media or within your, actually in Luero, where some people go missing and they're not seen and they're later dumped back and they you know, read their old drill and they were in safe houses? Those are not kidnaps to you, Madame Maria. Actually, what I know. Though you call those arrests. What I know what is happening in the country. There are arrests of people who indulge themselves in violence during the elections. You underscore the, the thing that there are no kidnaps in Uganda. There are arrests. Wow. Mm. Let's talk about threats, Mariam. Mm. What about the threats? Does the NRM party believe that it's always going to threaten other, other opposition um, parties so that it can thrive and come through as a, you know, a victorious Party. But, uh, but I, for one, have not gotten any report in Luero whereby anyone is reporting about being threatened by the government. Yesterday, we had, sure. yesterday we had a swearing in in yes. Luero, uh -huh. a swearing in for the speaker. Mm. It was free and fair. It was transparent. Mm -hmm. The speaker was for, for NOOP. Mm -hmm. The chairperson made his government. Mm -hmm. He appointed his ministers. Mm -hmm. It was in broad daylight. There was no intimidation. The so speeches the were made. Must not threaten any political party whatsoever before the speeches, or after the, the speeches were made. It was all, it was all in the limelight. Have you heard of political prisoners, Madame Mariam? Yes, I've heard of political prisoners. And I, do we see justice at the end of the day? Some of these are being actually tried under the court martial, yet they're civilians. Yeah, because they are tried under the court martial. The reasons were given. They were arrested with uniforms. Uh -huh. with, with, with the military uniforms, the children were given. And so we should leave court. I, I cannot intervene in court issues. I know Let's, you can't. Yes. But, but when court, you we, say we should leave the issues. that there is justice, mm. yet we know they are political prisoners, mm. people who were arrested during the campaigns, even after the campaigns, and they're still in prison. They were, Some... they, they, they were arrested because of riots. As we talk about political prisoners, we should also talk about what happened on, the, on that on the, on, the day, November event. on the November event, uh -huh. the things that were destroyed, the intimidations. By the way, mm. you're, 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 you're making it one sided. The intimidation the on intim both sides. The intimidation. Yeah, you address the NRM uh, cadres, which I totally, you know, mm. underscore and despise. Uh, are you aware that, that there are some NRM people who didn't vote just because they were intimidated? By you're the talking opposition? About, yes, opposition is intimidating. Also, you're talking about NRM intimidating no, 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 no. It, it cuts across ways. Yes, but so how do we balance that? How do we play against the intimidation and threats from both parties? Because we need to look at the country but as a whole. I'm not saying NRM intimidates, but I'm saying NOOP intimidates NRM. NOOP intimidates NRM? Yes. <laughs> how does NOOP intimidate NRM? The voters. The voters were intimidated. Others were beaten. They reported to you? Yes. Even their children who would call their parents in the villages that father have been bringing for you food. All along. Uh -huh. So if you, I, I hear you, you support NRM or you support President Museveni. Uh -huh. If you continue, no count food. myself out of my, count yourself out of my food. Intimidations went on. Wow. Yeah. As a leader, how best can we bridge this gap? We should unite. As a country? Yes. We are one people. We are all Ugandans. We are all blacks. We should, we should come together. We have problems. We, we should come together and address them. We should unite when your president and your chairperson doesn't attend some iPod meetings. 
We should unite when your chairperson does not listen to the calls of dialogue from some opposition but, parties. But the president has been attending a board meeting. He only this. attended one where he was actually, now that it's because there is this it's one which was in, No, there is this one which was in Kororo. <laughs> Then there's another one. He has been attending them. Even the, the other dialogue in the other the, election. When it fits his agenda. He has been attending them. He attends them. <coughs> the president has given democracy to all Ugandans. I mm. witnessed it yesterday. Mm. Whereby we had in Noob, we were all okay. We had the chairperson of Noob taking mm. his award. Mm. Uh, appointing his cabinet. Mm -hmm. it wa we have democracy in the country. There was no intimidation. Mm -hmm. The voting of the speaker was fair. It was in broad daylight. Like okay. I've told you. Well, uh, so, what the, 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 the pictures you see on the side of the screen, we're having members of parliament swearing in at the parliament today. It's a very great conversation. Things actually moving um, left, right, and said a couple of things are happening. Uh, someone here on Twitter says, uh, Aaron Poluma says, uh, good morning. Miriam, thank you so much for standing and telling uh, the truth. Intimidation comes from both sides, and it is indeed affecting us as a country. Um, Mwengesa says, uh, good morning. Um, I'm grateful that uh, the deputy RDC approves that the youth are not working in Luero. We are, co uh, we are just constructing a wrong day. Um, but uh, Mariam, before we proceed, I want us just to tap a little bit on this. Mm. Where is the problem when it gets to the youth block mm. with regards to the mindset shift? Where is the problem? Is it in the leadership schemes? Is it in the government programs that the youth are now known to be given? Government has given a lot to them, that they feel everything needs to be given to them. Is it what is causing the problem overall? I think, uh, I think we've gone back to a society which is permissive. Mm. We have sat in our comfort zone and left the youth. Mm. Yes. We have a lot of work to do on the youth. We have to engage them, we have to involve them, we have to mentor them. Mm. We have to, 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 to make them participate yes. in the development of their country. Yesterday, mm. where you're seated, we had an NRM cadre by the names of Emma Chisembo. He said the youth have tried to meet the president, but they have failed to see the president. And he feels the president and the party leaders have a strong ring of seniority. So how are you going to mentor them mm. when you still have those barricades there? Yeah, but uh, you know the president is very busy. But yeah. you're the other leader. Yeah, there. the president is very busy. Mm. He tries. I've seen. I've been seeing him meeting different Indeed, youth on different platforms. He tries it, but his study is very busy. But he tries to meet different youth and g really give them time and lecture. They mm. have been following him, especially on his line on, on Facebook. Mm. So, but therefore, we don't have to wait to meet the president. Do your part. Yes, as the youth. In fact, I, I, I like the way the outgoing chairperson put it mm. of Luero yesterday mm. during mm. the sharing in. Mm. Because the chairperson was saying, the, the chairperson was saying, we should tell the president to do this. We should tell the, the incoming was saying, mm. we should tell the president to do this. So the, the outgoing chairperson said, if we are to wait for the pre if you are to wait for the president, then you will not do anything. Mm. He said, I started the district headquarters. Mm. If I was to wait for the president, you wouldn't have found any Play structure. your part in the rest Yes, of so we should not wait for the president. We too the right. president should find us on the way. Perfect. Mm. We're still having a conversation with Mariam Nalbiga, the deputy RDC of Luero. The conversation is about what is going on in the country, but I'm very much more interested about the narrative of the youth in our country. Joining me now is my colleague Stephen Mbide in uh, Wakiso, where councillors are expected to swear in very soon uh, from now. Mbide, what is the latest where you are? Yes, we want you, Andrew Chamagero.
Yeah, they came in as early as 7.30 because at exactly 9 a.m. the function is set to be beginning. Let me begin with you, your name and where you represent and what you, the vision you see for Wakiso. I am Isaac Mwonge Maera. I represent the people of Gombe 1 Division at the Wakiso District. Mm. So it's such a big day for us as councillors and our representatives down there. So you, you ask what do the Wakiso people need? I think this time the Wakiso people have gotten the true leaders, the leaders that represent their values, the leaders that are going to bring forth what they, 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 they need to see. Because down there we have our, our people are, you know, are suffering from different stuff, as different problems. We have poor roads, we have, uh, you know, we have very, we don't have access to water. Yet Wakiso district is one of the districts that collects a big revenue, that takes a big part of the revenue to the national budget. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we are here to represent our people. We are here to re put the bar so high. We have a lot of expectations, but we think we are going to meet these expectations. Thank you so much. Welcome. Let me speak to you also. Your, your name and where you present, your vision for Wakiso. I am Ivan Mponyo Riombo. I represent Bukasa and the Rukwanga parishes to Wakiso district law government. It, this is a very good day. Uh, the day that the God has chosen that will be inaugurated today as councillors of Wakiso district law government. I think basically what we should look at is how can we foster service delivery. There are many issues, there are many issues within Wakiso. Of course, my colleague has already highlighted some of them. Uh, lack of water, poor roads network, uh, name it, name it, name it. And even the schools themselves. Mm. If you look at the post of government that every party should have a primary school, it doesn't, it doesn't apply in Wakiso district law government. Because if you look at the population, like one village can have over 20,000 citizens or residents. That means we need a school. Maybe we, we must adjust not to go by the bar of the whole country that every parish should have a primary school. I think we can go as per, as per, at least per the village because the population in Wakiso is extremely high. That means the, the way we're working in Wakiso should not be looked at the same way as it's dealt with in districts like Kassanda, districts like Semubende. So we have to, to, to serve the people. And I think the, the missing link has been to have a, a, a united district council. Thank you so much, Ivan Mponye. Um, I know you as a journalist have been working with you for so many years. I uh, wish you all the best in your service. Sebo, we otikira wa manyago ne chicho lava mwakiso e chetago wanga chitireze wa. Erinya, nze sarongo zuwa Moses. Nganchikira wa ntu be nakabugo, omuruka gwe nakabugo, be nchikira wano ku district. Mpose um, zebizi webiruma wachiso district. Wachiso ye district emwe singa abantu abanji mu Uganda wachiso ye district e singo kule kunganya omusoro omunji okujja okujja mu central government atera wachiso yeta age bintu binji omuli engudo omuli amazi omuli amasomera amalunji atera wachiso yeta ago kusukka ko weri kubanga wachiso bweberanga ye district e singa okuberanga ye yeleto omusoro mu wano mu Uganda Yeta go kuberange suka kuwano, mubien funa, na fefe nyini nyini badusi kansa la zabazo na kuruwa liru. Tueta go teka we nchuka chuka, ukuberanga district ye wachiso, esu kurumako ku district endazo no kweto ula Uganda. So na uruwe nsongeyo, a engudo, a, a maza mayonjo, tugeta aga mwachiso district. Mwabali nyosebwa wenda kabugo obanda vila nyo. Kangendeko atine kuruda runo wawa chala, ntandikene mchalo ono mama. Amanya govo chikirila na wakiso wajiraba. Amanya nze hajat amina naluja, chikirila bakozi ku district. I represent workers at the uh, wakiso district. My, my aim as a workers representative, starting with journalists who are, whose wa rights are violated. I have to fight for workers' rights. I have to negotiate for workers, de depending in which category, formal and informal workers. Nze kurani ila dembeli hawa kozi, okuta nikila dala kuwa na maulile, balikila ukuwa nga wawa chunya, okurani ila right suza mwe, ufunanzi wawa mwe, okuwa kuwa wana maulile, okuwa muinsekta ze zenja, ule private teachers, hawa mba kozi wawa sabra kumilimu, muhotels, hawa kozi wawa imiliza, teba kola, teba funa misala, a minimum wage, okuwa mu different institutions, different sectors. My my vital role is workers. Others are, are, are going to be handled, finance and budget, but my vital role is workers. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Mama, I'm going to talk to you. 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 I'm going to Mu Uganda yonna. Olwale don komye wo, jine chisanja changi cha kunango mbako mchala chikira bali kovule mu. Nkomye wo olwe nkole nungi, nobu funanyi zibabu nene liyabantua bali kovule mu. Nenga nchia kubira omulanga government. 
nti ya de tu chai nao special grant <coughs> etuwe bwanga abantu abali ko bulimu tucheta go kubera nga abantu ba febali empowered olwaido tuina obwadde buno obwa corona virus tute ko kulaba nga abantu ba fe abali ko bulimu babera trained sobolo kufuna obukolero obutono tono abantu ba kolera awaka ba sobolo kubera nga beyimirizawo nga abantu abali ko bulimu bako yo kubera dependent tuwagala tuberenga tusitulibwa na fetu berenga tugwa bana kukeka ya government no lwe chyo nkubira omulanga uh, chaita organizations rotarians abasubuzi uh, nabantu se kinomu muveyo mutukwatireko kubati chaina ne basic needs zetwetaga nga abantu abali ko bulemu era zetu chano nya no lwe chibemba mutulabye te mutugalira ku mulyango mutuwanirize mutusoso waze mutubererewo ebyo byebya we wow uh, mama uh, ukikirira wa amanyago ne wakisono aliyeta ko kuchuka ko wakiso itako kuchuka ko ekifana nchi gwe kyole semu wakiso amanya gange nzo mumbe jana chimbu gwe immaturity nga ngenda kuchikirira abakadde ba wakiso district bonna nino kulaba nti abakadde bafuna sente zaabwe okuva ku myaka nsambu so sizili so sizili zibabadde bafuna okuva ku myaka 8 omukadde agenda kutuka ku myaka 8 ngata kya sobola bambi batandikire ku myaka nsambu basi bado kuzipulana injira ate basi bode obano okuzidi akonga we bagala ngendo okulabanga abakadde mu malwaliro bafune dagala abakadde abasinga balwadde ba pressure balwadde ba sukali olusi watu ka malwaliro bambi tibabafako ne ngendo okulaba nga abakadde wabataledde wo clinics ezawe nga abakadde basi bode okujanjabwa ndwadde na dalezi balumba nga bakadde ngendo okulabanga engudo mwe bayita nga nnungi so kutu siku tu kama lugudo ngaduli maganya omukadde ne baka boni ne ekolache ne yawukana kubanga ayita mungu demfu okay. ne yanziza we bali nyo uh, mama ugambotia amanya gange nze na chance aneti nganze kansalo omuchala achikirira kachiri egombola ku district 1 so wonze chenja ga lokusimba kesire bilala byonna banange babyogedde ne yensonge yettaka Tuino buzi unene nyo wano, atenge chitewe chetaka, owe chikola kutaka, chiri wano uh, kudistrict e eh, wakiso. Mm. Haba ntubanji nyo, awe uh, vivanja, ngatepa cha inana wabavira. Mm. Batu lugunyi ziwa, Uganda teyenka na ankana, awe chitaka, batu tuwa lako nyo, haba ntubafe e eh, vivanja. Mm. Norwecho njaga loo kulaba, nge chitewe chino chiteleze wa, obubi buve wo, atidisi eh, chapa chivele chimu kutaka, okusinga evi eh, hapa visatu, okufuru makutaka limu. Endala service za balala, bazo gedeko, na enze yensonge nkuru. Esinzo kubela nge ndi itawa. Nea zanyo kansubile nti vimusubi za tevi na banga vitu ukirira. Ugambuti ya kumanyi kufei Boyogeli. Edi nyali angeze na modo beti mm. from Boyogeli Division. Mm. Elu sifa human council of Boyogeli Division. Abantu wanga Boyogeli ili mtu inje vitu njiga. E, wakise sa suro msoro mungi. Nita tufuna service. Tuine ngudembi. Tuine ama lwa lido. Sange dua liyonga temuli muwadi dagala. Kate dua liyonga temuli muwadi dagala. Ba mama. Banyi giriziwa. Zendi mama manyiwe chiru mogenda mdua liyonga temuli wadaka dagala. Abantu wa gobebuwa kumataka. Abantu wa fabewege division. Umutu wa gule takencha ni bamojako. Nga inani kwa atake ni mogera kumbulidye. Nzensonga yange ya taka. Ngenda kulumeri nyo. Ngenda kulemera ko. Okula anga abantu wa angiba ina chiba in okufuna kye bayino okufuna nibwe banga government policy the ka policy tambulire mbantu mulaini ya bantu na malwaliro ne ngudo ebintu nge ebyo nze nsonga yange ebisere bisinga musubiza nga muze musubiza nsine guru mu abisubiza mu campaign okona ne kubawo ne bigwa kati mu mujitanise dada nkola kiyo musubira kwata gane banamwe kubanga mwenzo kujja ne mugana tuli bayi ni UP ne mweka ba NRM ne mweka ba DP Muna kula mtu kula angamu kumiru gumu na kufale masi nso nga zine ziba gata. Fete tuwa zikuluwa na antalo, tuwa zikolira bantu. Principal wa fasiba achogira bulivinako, tukolira bantu. Tuwa gala kulaga Uganda, tuwa gala kulaga bana wakiso, tuwa gala tubele chekola vila koba nupu. Tuwa la gembu tuwa zikola. Ero mwini mga fekola sikuluwa na antalo, tuino kulaba angamaloli wa mudagala, mwediri maruali. Nze nedu wali wali mchile kwe wafi. Temulu era dagala. Mama jana zali rao. Nze ngenda chiru wana kubanga nze mama atandikiru wako. Ngenda kulabi ngudonga zikolewa. Kubanga era tuwa janga chibina chitufu. Ne tuwa jakole la bantu. So si chibina. Ate chibina. Era chiyala bantu. Ane tuwe anzi zanyo. Tuwe anzi eki. Ok. Mama ka gose mbayo. Ate tuli ok today home studios. Gose mbayo mama. Uh, Iri nyanatembo mire. Nga nze kansalo mchala. Achikili la chila division. Hmm. 
These are some of the promises from these councillors who are going to be sworn in today at the Wakiso District Headquarters. Of course, later on, around 3.30, the District Chairperson, Matia Rangawanik, will also be sworn in. He will then be announcing his cabinet that he's going to be serving with, as well as election of the Speaker and the Deputy Speaker of Wakiso District. This is Stephen Imbidon, Fefe Swechuga, handing you back to... Andrew Chama get in the studios and then we shall be of course later on giving you the graduation that is happening at Makele University. Over to you Andrew. Thank you so much Stephen Mbide. It's much more exciting when I hear councillors they are ambitious, they are you know they are aggressive. I, I love that kind of energy but with me still in studio I still have uh, Mariam Nalubega the deputy RDC of Luero district. Well Mariam uh, good feedback coming off offline of people saying that you're uh, it takes a leader to agree that we have a problem and how best we can fix it. Now, my question there is, let's assume elections are done. They're already done. What should Ugandans expect from your party, Mariam? Uh, Ugandans should expect more service delivery from the NRM government, uh, rural electrification. Mm. Areas where by rural elect electrification has not reached, they will receive electricity, more piped water. Mm. Areas where there is no piped water, they should expect piped water. Mm. There are CD schools which are under construction. Mm. CD schools are secondary schools, universal secondary schools. Mm. Um, already we have three CD schools in Luero. Mm -hmm. So we, 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 we hope to improve on the education sector. Mm. Um, then, then infrastructure. Mm -hmm. In the in the previous term, tractors w w were provided at the district to work on the feeder roads, mm -hmm. and a lot a lot more equipment will be coming in mm -hmm. to work on the on the on the feeder roads. Then we have a problem of contractors, mm -hmm. contractors who do shadow work. Mm -hmm. We are going to look into that mm -hmm. before b b before awarding tenders. We should know who does good work and who does shadow work mm -hmm. in order to improve on the services of the construction of, of good roads. Mm -hmm. Uh, then the, the, the program, the development programs, mm. the, the youth livelihood programs, the operational health recreation, mm. there is that model that is being designed in parliament. Mm. We are eagerly waiting for it mm. and we are eagerly waiting to see it being implemented and we are waiting to implement it. Then at, at, at the district levels, at the district let's, let, mm. let's talk about the biggest question that is happening in Luero. Luero and uh, Wakiso as well as Mokono, they seem to be uh, some of the areas flashpoints for land drangles land drangles land fraud and all that as a deputy rdc yesterday you saw your councillors taking oath of office how best are you planning to to settle these as leaders mm. in that area yes yesterday i was really excited that we have a new group of leaders mm. that is coming in to assist there is a lot of work about land drangles mm -hmm. what is in where actually is land fraud whereby you can see a given piece of land having two land titles mm -hmm. then you, you then you, you ask yourself which is which mm. uh, there are scenarios whereby uh Bivanja holders are being evicted by landlords mm. and the land uh, destruction of food crops destruction of homes in fight of land land wrangles at the end of the day by the way if if at all you don't minimize this land wrangle case mm. you can end up doing nothing in a district other than attending to land wrangles. Therefore, mm -hmm. I'm excited that we have a new district government coming in. And I've seen the councillors promising heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I'm ready to team up 
the office of the RDC is ready to team up mm. with the new government, with the councillors, with the district chairperson, and we settle these land, these land wrangles. That's a very good thing. Then mm. the other thing, I've, I've, I've even had councillors here, even mm. the ones in, um, in Luero yesterday, the promising people roads, the promising people medical, healthcare, and all mm. that. Mm. Do we have programs where, after they have sworn in, they go through an induction kind of program that they mm. understand their duties, mm. not to promise roads and healthcare which they can't afford? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, 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 at Luero District, we have an orientation program mm -hmm. for all the newly elected councillors and district councillors mm -hmm. to orient them, to take them through their duties. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we already had one which was organized by some NGO called Christian Women. Mm -hmm. It was at Kasana. Mm -hmm. I officiated, mm -hmm. and it was all about orienting them on their duties, how to conduct themselves in council, mm -hmm. which kind of questions should they raise, how to approach issues, how to solve issues. So I think councillors all over the country, mm -hmm. like you've been seeing them promising roads, <laughs> things <laughs> beyond their reach, I they know. need serious orientation mm -hmm. about the kind of work they are supposed to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that is... Um, Maria Manalovega, the deputy RDC uh, from Luero. Uh, she has alluded, these are my takeaways that we need, a mindset uh, paradigm shift with regards to the mindset, especially the youth. We need to work, we need to plug into agriculture because it is the backbone of our country. But not only that, she alludes that we need to unite. Threats from both ends shouldn't work for country as Uganda if we are to lead forward and live by the vision of uh, 2040.